Out of the shadows of the Atlantic Ocean, the shape of a bell emerges. And then, little by little, a ghostly outline. The remnants of the long-lost USS Jacob Jones, sunk by a German submarine on December 6, 1917. The once proud U.S. destroyer torpedoed eight months after America entered World War I. Of the 110-man crew, 64 were killed. For more than a century, the ship was lost to the depths of the sea, until it was discovered this summer by a team of volunteer British divers known as Dark Star. So fair to call you guys Navy history enthusiasts, Navy history... Nerds. <laughs> <laughs> Determined to solve a 105-year-old mystery. We were looking for a needle in a haystack. We had three positions we could plot on a chart. And from that, we could identify our search area. The team headed 60 miles off the British coast, following clues a U.S. historian discovered in the diary of the German U-boat commander. So you're on the surface. You know something is down there. Yes. But you don't know what it is. Exactly. We go over the top of it on the boat, and we can see the seabed. It's flat. Then there's a little lump. And then, nearly 400 feet below the surface, there it was. Guns, torpedo tubes, the bell of the ship, which was just an amazing sight to see it just lying there. You could actually see the name Jacob Jones in the side of the bell, which was just, it, it was the icing on the cake. And in terms of what you actually saw down there, what, what stays with you? Just the wonderful nature that was getting down onto the USS Jacob Jones, which had not been seen for 105 years. The captain of the Jacob Jones left a detailed account of his ship's final moments. I ran along the deck and ordered everybody I saw to jump overboard, he wrote. While the sailors' bodies will never be recovered, their sacrifice is commemorated at this U.S. military cemetery outside London. Among them, 23-year-old Lieutenant Stanton Kalk, who gave his own life trying to save his men. We never take it for granted that we are diving on war graves where sailors have sometimes died for freedom. An American warship and her crew, gone but no longer lost. And the U.S. Navy tells NBC News they have no plans to bring artifacts up from the USS Jacob Jones because they consider the wreck an official American military war grave just like these ones. And they will now list the underwater site as the final resting place for dozens of American sailors. Tom. Incredible images there. All right, Raf, we thank you for that. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.